Thank you. And uh, we've got the um, Te Pātika o uh, Rākai Hautu uh, Banks Peninsula Community Board Report. Uh, Tori Peden, and no Tyrone today, and uh, Penelope, Goldstone. Penelope Goldstone, Community Governance Manager. Morena, everybody. Morena. Right. Um, just before we get started, um, we recently had conversations with NZTA and I think having conversations with community boards and NZTA directly regarding state highways was very valuable. Yeah. Um, and even NZTA has said it's great to hear perspective from, a, from the local area. Mm. Um, and they did say that they're coming out to the community for consultation on speed limits. So that's really good to hear that NZTA are doing public consultation. So look, that, that relationship needs to continue with, it, with another board. Yeah, so. the, I, I saw the chief executive wrote a letter on that very issue, mm. um, focusing on Little River, but the whole corridor is being reassessed, so the timing was perfect. And, um, and you know, just having that conversation Congratulations to your board, because I think to both. having those relationships yeah. really, really matter. Yes, yeah. so Thank you. hopefully other boards get a chance to do that as well. Yeah. So. Right, Akaroa. <laughs> Just recently, the um, Akaroa Service Centre has been closed um, and the services have been moved on a trial basis to the Akaroa Community and School Library. We have had um, many, many public forum come in about this issue um, and with this there's also consideration um, to close the service desk completely. I know that is coming forward in the LTP. but. Um, it has been noted within the community that, that it's a recently refurbished Akaroa Service Centre um, and moving those services to the, the library is a concern. Um, with the ongoing LTP, like I say, this has been um, public forum to the community board um, with the proposal of closing service centres. The next nearest service centre to Akaroa would be Little River and that's over 30 minutes away. So residents are quite concerned about this especially when there is a lot of elderly residents in the area. Uh, recently we had a hui in Akaroa. Um, two of the main issues, one of which was around the service centre. Um, we have had good attendance, we have had vocal community about service centre um, issues and also at the hui um, we had staff there regarding the water <coughs> issues. Um, so a really well attended hui. Um, it was really well run by um, council staff and community organisers. Um, it was, it could have got quite vocal, but it was well run, and and we thank staff and um, community members for, for keeping that. Um, oh, what's the word? <laughs> it, it, it was it was it's civilised. It was very civilised. Another issue brought to the board recently is um, fire hazards. Now, Cass Bay fire started due to a tree branch um, that caught fire um, power lines. It burned 15 hectares of, um, of hillside. Um, concern from neighbours of Rimao Reserve, so it's a council reserve, um, and that fire breaks had not been constructed. So I know that staff are looking at that, and those issues have been brought to the community board. But it is ongoing issues that are being raised with us yearly, especially post um, Port Hills fires. There is ongoing issues around, around fire risk and um, what we're doing about that. There's also um, concerns from um, Akaroa in different areas as well regarding fire risk. And keeping it short and brief today, the last one is just regarding the Akaroa boil water notice. Um, staff are working hard to sort this problem out. Um, unfortunately, residents were misinformed that they had to boil water from the tanker that got delivered from Christchurch. So that had been sorted out. And I just want to give much thanks to the water team. They have um, done their best with a situation that nobody asked for. Um, residents have been incredibly grateful for what staff are doing and the, um, the communications going out about that. So I'd just like to pass on my thanks to the water team and also the, the comms team for just really going above and beyond and helping our community get through this time and I um, hope to see that the boil water notice comes down shortly. So that's, that's all I have to update with you over the last few weeks. Um, uh, uh, um, yeah, James. Kia ora, uh, Tori. Sorry, I missed the beginning of your presentation. What was the 
What, what's happened with NZTA? Oh, sorry. Yes, NZTA. We we asked um, regarding different things coming um, issues coming up the board and regarding state highway. You're so right. we did actually have a conversation with NZTA and they came around the table. So it was great just to say that we're actually talking and passing on the community concerns regarding speed limit, regarding conditions of roads, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I encourage you know other boards to, if they get a chance to speak to NZTA, pass on those things. And have you had progress? Yeah, no, they're, they're going out to public consultation. Yes, yeah, so oh, public okay. consultation on regarding yeah. speed limit yeah. on State Highway 75. On the whole of oh, the, fantastic. Of yeah, the, it's, um, yeah. Yeah. where it's is it from, from Hallswall essentially all the way through to Akaroa? But from what NZTA was telling us is that they are doing public consultation on their speed limit review. They've yeah. never done that before wow. because NZTA are a, you know, governing bodies themselves, basically. Can I suggest um, a kind of kind, um, suggestion that you contact the Runanga, why do we Runanga? Because it's why they, yeah. they, are, they will be consulting with the... With, um, yeah, but let them know that you've been <coughs> in, sorry, <coughs> in, that situa in that position where you... You've had a meeting with them. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, I was speaking yeah. to Yang Cranwell the other day, so I did pass that on. Okay. So, no, it's it's all good progress, and yeah, just having that conversation is just fantastic. Maybe we'll get a note to councillors uh, from the from the office of the CE just describing what's happened, because um, you know it is going to be an engaged process, and and there will be a lot of interest from the Runanga as yeah. well. Yeah. Andrew, you want to move this? <coughs> and do I have a seconder? Mike? Davidson? Any um, discussion? I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. It's carried. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Tori. Thank you. And last but not least, um, the Waitai Coastal Build Community.